So when my dad died, I inherited what are known as the wood carvings. Now, unfortunately, these haven't been cared for. They've been stuck in a garage. My great great grandfather was Charles Mumford, born in 1833, died in 1899. He was a wood carver. So what I've done is um, I've actually cleaned some of them up and you can see that they look pretty good once they're cleaned. These are just two pillars. What these were supposed to be is part of a desk that I was going to inherit. Unfortunately the desk itself doesn't appear to have survived intact, just some of the carvings from it. And that's those are some lovely twisted legs. I don't believe you can do this on a lathe because it's a spiral and not concentric circles. And so I think he must have done this all by hand. It's possible he had a machine for doing it, but I don't know. Likewise, this sort of carving here, you can probably do that with a router, but I'm, I'm pretty sure, looking at the regularity of it, that it's been done by hand. And also this sort of decorative work here is um, obviously hand done. Now I'm going to clean up another piece and the best way I've got of doing it is in my lovely clean white bathroom. I'm afraid it's the only way really so I've got a dusty old piece here. I'm presuming it's part of the same thing, part of the desk or bureau that I was supposed to have inherited. Um, but it could equally be part of a, a, panel, a top panel of a piano or it could be um, part of a dresser. But you can see the same sort of work. It's lovely how the grain of wood is reflected in the uh, floral pattern that he's used. So I'm going to give that a spray with the water and then we'll see what it comes up like. Well that looks so much nicer without all the dust and grime on it. In fact, it looks like it's varnished. As you can see, it's wet. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to dry it straight away so that the water doesn't soak in and raise the grain. Well, that's uh, dried now and that's come out beautifully. I don't think I've done too much damage by washing it with water rather than with a damp cloth. I think it was really necessary in view of the amount of dust and grime that was attached to it. I'm sure if you only do it once it's all right. Um, what I've got to do now is probably attach a little bit of beeswax to it or some other polish and uh, then try and work out the jigsaw puzzle, try and work out how they fit together. And before you ask, don't worry, I have washed out the bath too. Now if you look at this piece, this is a door. Unfortunately this has had something like white spirit or thinned paint spilt on it and that has really ruined it as far as the colour is concerned. But um, I'm, a, I'm going to have to somehow take that off, but I'm not sure how. I may have to uh, get it restained or something, I don't know. But uh, it does have a beautiful piece of carving on it here. Um, I don't know if you can see, but as well as in the foreground, you can see this beautiful sort of uh, leaf pattern and then these, um, this little draped curtain thing here, which looks like it's got a piece missing from the front because that piece is a different sort of colour. Um, maybe that had a name on it once. As well as that, you can see the background is these fine chisel marks, this fine pattern of dots. And I've seen that in other things done by my great-great-grandfather. Uh, he's used that on um, smaller works as well, and it looks very, very pretty. So hopefully that will one day be a cupboard of something in my house. I don't want them to go back in a garage or outhouse. They're too good for that.